Welcome Cancerians and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 27th of June through to Sunday the 3rd of July 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning messages to the question, how does these soulmates of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Wow. So we have compassion and prosperity. Wow. Um, you're getting a breakthrough this week, um, Cancerians. Let's pull one more. One more for Cancer, please. My angels and spirit guides, oh, thank you. And confidence, beautiful. Okay, so Cancerians, I am picking up a really um, beautiful energy um, for those of you that I'm reading for. Um, many of you, I would say that you're very, very compassionate people. Um, you have an appreciation for all that is living. Um, you have an appreciation for Mother Earth, all that is living and breathing, animals, plants, um, life, okay? And I feel that you're being guided um, with regards to uh, love. Um, many of you are going to have some sort of breakthrough, but it may not be just a breakthrough in love. It could be a breakthrough with regards to work. It feels as if many of you have worked really, really hard um, around work, around a relationship, uh, relationships or a relationship that you're in at the moment. Um, you have applied a lot of compassion. So it feels as if, I mean, Cancerian, you are almost kind of like the mother of the water signs. You're very nurturing. Family is really important to you. People's emotions is something that um, you can tune and home into very, very easily. Your intuition, very similar to Pisces and Scorpio, you know, a very, very on point. But I always kind of see you very much as the mother of the water signs. And so therefore having a compassion, the compassion cards coming up is just really echoing your compassion for others. But it feels as if compassion is coming your way now. It's like where you have put up other people um, before yourself, other people's needs before yours, in work, in relationships, you're having a breakthrough with prosperity. Um, this is a time, this is a very fortuitous fortuitous card because all your hard work is going to pay off. You're getting a breakthrough. Um, and I feel that it's partly because many of you, I feel that you are connected um, with the divinity within you. You certainly are believers in the universe, in spirit, divine. Doesn't matter what your, you know, I always differentiate between, you know, um, uh, believers and religion or, or, or faith. OK, um, religion is very uh, has a very different meaning to me. Um, whatever your background is, whatever your um, upbringing is, it doesn't matter. There is um, an appreciation for Mother Earth. There's an appreciation for your higher self, for the universe, for divine spirit universe. Um, and I feel that many of you, you have called on that higher power to help you with work, to help you with relationships, to help you with um, all aspects of your life. But you've done it in a very humble, compassionate way. And it feels as if the universe um, divine spirit universe has heard you and it's now you're getting your breakthrough. I feel that many of you, um, you may need to um, work on removing um, any emotional um, clutter or blockages. And this is where I'm picking up the confidence comes in. It's like you're being guided. Look at these two images with prosperity and confidence. You're being guided. Continue 
to look upwards, look up to divine spirit universe, your higher self for that guidance, that divinity within you. You're going to be guided on this next part of your journey. With regards to work, I feel this it's almost with regards to uh, your life journey, your life purpose, okay? Uh, with regards to love specifically, I'm picking up whoever you're connecting with. They do want to take a leap of faith with you. It could be a new relationship that's going to take flight. Be confident in it. It's going to be prosperous, okay? I feel that they want to put the work in. They see you as their happiness. They see you as their wish fulfillment. And I feel for many of you, um, you know, this person, whoever you're connecting with, they are ready for something serious, something solid. This person is solid, grounded, reliable. Um, and they see that you're a compassionate, giving um, nurturing human being. And I, I feel like that's something that they love about you, but you may not be confident in yourself. And that may be due to, you know, broken heart, unhealed wounds. This is the time that you're being guided to move forward now. Yeah, look at those two cards. Look upwards, ask for that guidance. It's coming to you it's almost as if it's being poured out over you. Um, and so use that energy to heal unhealed wounds, declutter any emotional baggage, or any blockages that's stopping you um, from being confident to move forward in your life in general, but also with regards to somebody, um, I feel that you've actually captured their heart. Let's continue. My angels and spirit, thank you. Oh, babes, look at this. Get ready. Cancerians, I can't make it up. Poised. Divine spirit universe is saying, get ready, Cancerians. Taking that leap of faith. This image is in the image almost of a butterfly. You're going to be flying. This relationship, whoever you are connecting with, whatever aspect in your life that this is resonating for, there's a transformation in you. And I feel that you're being guided to get ready for it. Get ready to take that leap of faith with confidence. Again, look at all three of these images looking upwards, almost as if you're calling in the divinity, your higher self, the universe, divine spirit universe. Something really special is about to break through. A breakthrough is happening um, and they're saying, get ready for it. Get ready for it. Oh, I told you this was going to be a lovely message. Now, this never ending story is where confidence comes in, Cancerians, because many of you may be thinking, is this too good to be true? Um, you could be sitting there thinking, oh my God, when is it going to like smack you in the face? When is it going to fall apart? This is this emotional um, um, baggage and clutter. Because whatever blockages um, that are going on around you, believe it or not, it's you that's creating it. What I love with this never ending story is that this is letting you know that you have the ability to rewrite the story because what you are telling yourself with regards to relationships, jobs, an aspect in your life that you're being guided to be confident and move forward, clear that emotional <coughs> clutter and blockages. What this is saying is that the story that you've been telling yourself hasn't necessarily been true. And so what you're being asked to do is get ready, get ready for this change, uh, a new relationship, um, a, a, a relationship that's moving to the next level, a breakthrough at work, a breakthrough in life. OK, and this is where you're being guided. You have the opportunity to write a different story. And when you do so, you're being asked to be flexible, be flexible with your thinking. Try not to put any restrictions on you, your life, um, a relationship, whether it be new, whether it be um, existing. Be flexible, be open, go with the flow. Um, I feel genuinely, it really feels, because this compassion card has come up, it feels as if the way that you operate, Cancerians, 
is something I, I almost, I, you know, it almost feels as if the universe, divine spirit universe is saying to you, well done. Well done for being actually a decent human being. And now you're having your rewards. They've heard your calls. They've heard your manifestations, your intention settings, your prayers, your wishes. And it almost feels as if it's all going to come at once for you. Really beautiful message. But don't restrict yourself. Be confident to move forward because whoever you're connecting with, they are seeing you as their happiness. They are the real deal. They want to put in the work and they want to take this leap of faith with you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you going to block yourself or are you going to be flexible and open? That's the question. Okay, so Cancerians, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Cancerians. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I hope that you all get something really, really useful out of this week's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does these soulmates of Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 27th of June through to Sunday the 3rd of July 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Cancerians that I'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's do this. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Can... Oh, there we go. Well, we've got um, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Now, the Ten of Swords normally represents somebody that's scared or somebody that is regretful or confused, okay? But with the Ten of Swords coming in reverse... It feels as if whoever you are connecting with, um, it's almost as if they are in recovery. So they could be in recovery of a past relationship, but it also means that they are accepting what has gone on in their life. Like I said, there's somebody around you. This feels like a new connection, if I'm being really honest. Um, it feels as if somebody has observed you, Cancerians, and they. it's like you've given them a renewal of faith that there are good people in this world and you are one of them and that is why the ten of swords is in reverse they see hope they see renewal of love they see something within you that is compassionate nurturing and it almost feels as if you've you've given them that uh yeah that pep in their step yeah there's something about you that has um really captured this person you've brought them hope where they themselves may have come out of something that was um o m g did you see that fly out do you know something i was doing the meditation before i started this reading and you know what i was saying do you know what i was saying to my team this feels like this is going to be one of those really beautiful readings this person is your twin flame Jeez. So, you know something? Oh, I feel quite teary. It feels as if, Cancerians, you've been patient. You've been patient for the right person. Um, and you've done it humbly, you know. I, I can't express it enough. You're just, those of you that I am picking up, you're just bloody good people. You're just a good, good person. And um, uh, you have been brought into this person's light, uh, life to maybe even ignite that light within them. 
You have brought this person hope, a renewal of love, a renewal of something that they thought they had lost, faith in love. And it's because you are their twin flame. Could be dealing with a Gemini or you could have Gemini in your chart. Didn't I say to you, it's almost as if the universe is just rewarding you for just being a good person. It's like all your blessings are coming at once. The only um, uh, note that I should give you is that you might be tempted to um, like block this. Or like, and I don't feel like it's major, but it's like you may not be confident that like this is real. Like, is this really happening? You know, yes, it is. Remember the poise card. Get ready for this and be flexible in your thinking. Thank you. And look at that. <laughs> the seven of coins. So this tells me that both you and this person, you know how to nurture a good thing. Yeah. I feel for many of you, either this could be a friend or it could be a work colleague, but it's somebody that you know, I would say. All right. This really feels like a new connection. Um, it feels as if you've you've known this person. They know you. Uh, the seeds have already been planted in this connection. It's like you've built up a really good friendship um, and your basket is full. You're happy. They're happy. Both of you are willing to put in the work. And I feel that that foundation of building a trusting friendship, a reliable friendship, is something that two, the two of you have worked on already. And so the natural progression is to step things up. If you're not dating this person already or not in a full-blown relationship, get ready for it because things are about to change in a very positive way. And if you notice, this lady is smiling. Her basket is overflowing. She's even had to go and grab another basket to put another pentacle in there. And that is right at the center of the reading, yeah? You both have gone through your strifes um, of relationships. You know how to nurture a relation. Look at that. The tower moment. You have had your full fill, fill of tower moments, of crappy relationships, of waiting, okay? And um, you may have put in a lot of work in past relationships, and this is where maybe this lack of confidence to put in that work again. But I'm really picking up that you know this person already. And you may have subconsciously put in the work without actually realising it. OK, and you're quite happy with that friendship, that bond. You may not have even thought that that person would see you, <laughs> excuse me, in, in the light in which they see you which is their twin flame, somebody that they want to be with. I feel as if um, that tower moment, there must have been some sort of really deep heartache that affected you. Um, I wouldn't say that you haven't got over it, but there may be some residual energy um, because I'm picking up you're being guided to uh, be confident, um, uh, to remove any emotional uh, baggage or clutter or blockages. And it's because of this tower moment that may have happened um, with you in the past. OK, remember the never ending story. It's like you're just waiting. You're waiting for the bottom to fall out of it and for everything to go to shit. I am here to tell you that it ain't. It really isn't. You are coming out victorious with the Ace of Swords, victorious in a new beginning, a victorious in truth, victorious in speaking your truth and victorious in this person being truthful and honest with you, speaking their truth. OK, but you remember what I was saying here? This is not a coincidence. That's right under never ending story. The truth you may have been saying to yourself about past relationships. It wasn't true. You are now going to see the truth of 
what a relationship really looks like in terms of nurturing, um, giving and taking equally. But you have to go forward with confidence, be flexible in your thinking, clear out any of that emotional um, uh, uh, clutter or blockage um, that was triggered from past relationships that didn't go too well. A new beginning, you've come out victorious, you're coming out victorious, you're having a breakthrough. Beautiful message. Let's have a look and get some advice, um, some clarifiers, sorry. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me? Yeah, oh, look at that. They were just showing me the wheel of fortune. This is this this person here is a fated connection. It's like you're supposed to enter each other's life um, when you did. But the stage that you're at with this person, if it's somebody that you recognize, you're thinking, oh, God, I think I know who that is. This is the time for things to move to the next level. With the hangman in reverse, I would say that this person may have been like spiritually still. OK, um, spiritually still whilst they were confused, scared about relationships didn't have a lot of hope, um, lost all faith in relationships. The hangman's coming out in reverse. This person is eager to move things forward with you because this is them feeling kind of really frustrated that things aren't moving as quickly as they want it to, okay? They will take their time because they're in recovery. You've given them hope, but this is them just feeling a little bit kind of like, I want to, I just kind of want to tell can, uh, Cancerians how I feel. That's the kind of energy that I'm picking up. Because this person wants to put the work in with you. They want something new with you. This feels like a new relationship. Now, I'm not, I'm, I think that came out reverse, but it came out like that. So I'm going to read it both ways. So I would say face up that this person was very sad and very disappointed over uh, something that really hurt them, really hurt them. They were left confused. They were left scared of relationships. This person may even have just put a bit of a wall around themselves, kind of like, I ain't going down that road again. I got hurt. I was confused. They may have a lot of regret in past um, relationships. And I feel as if um, by encountering you, meeting you, that's in reverse. So it's like you've given them hope. You've given that renewed confidence that there are decent people out there. And so the five of cups in reverse, rather than being sad and disappointed, this person is now accepting what's gone on in the past, closing it, releasing it and moving forward because of you Cancerians, just the way that you carry yourself, the compassion that you have for other people, just how you conduct yourself has shone, a, your, your light is shining so bright, I can't even express it, I almost feel like you're a saint for like, you know, it's the, the, the divinity within you is shining so bright right now, it's like you can't do anything wrong, um, certainly in this person's eyes, but that is just um, attributed to you as an individual definitely for those of you that i'm picking up okay so this five of um cups is this person forgiving the past they may be a little bit nostalgia um thinking about the past um uh, maybe weighing up you know what is it going to be like with cancerians this is why this hangman is in reverse they're feeling a little bit kind of frustrated they kind of want to move things along you know are you really the real deal you know what are you like one-on-one -on -one in a relationship um but this person is forgiving the past yeah because they see recovery and hope with you which is really really beautiful let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify how does the soulmates of uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Whoop, thank you. Wow, look at this. Oh, God, even this gets better and better with the world coming.
card. So this person sees that a cycle from their past is now closed and there is a new cycle opening with you because they see you as their twin flame, their ultimate soulmate, somebody that just brightens up their life, okay? This is a new beginning for them change they have hope they've got renewed faith in love again um i feel with the world card the two of you might be uh maybe um in different locations um maybe um might even be in different countries okay but the key thing here is there's change a cycle of their past is closing and they can see a cycle with you as their twin flame is a new cycle opening up and gee whiz do they want to be around you do they want to celebrate this connection this person wants to get to know you they're just eager frustrated they want to kind of move things along but this cycle of getting like, it's like this person wants to get to know you they feel this instant connection with you uh, they want to get to know you they want to celebrate this connection because in their mind you are you are evoking change in their life you've given them that sense of renewal and hope this person i would say with the eight um with the eight of coins um this person will put in the work notice the amount of coins the two of you are going to be very prosperous together so you may know this person at work okay there could be work projects that you're working on together you're going to have a breakthrough by the two of you collaborating together and that's possibly how you got to know this person but whatever it is at work this person is going to put in the work i would say that they're a hard worker they have their own money they're going to put in work into this connection um they are building upon what has already been built with the two of you and that may be genuinely because you are um in a, a work environment that's how you know each other and here's the hierophant <laughs> yes this person is somebody um that i feel that you may recognize or have a bit of an inkling um that you, this is somebody that you possibly could marry yeah with the hierophant um this is long-term commitment marriage um divinely guided to one another could be dealing with the taurus or you could have taurus in your chart but you recognize there's something quite special about this person but you might not be confident because of a previous tower breakdown of a relationship something that hasn't really been healed but get ready the story that you're telling yourself possibly about this person like waiting for the like the bottom to drop out of it, it ain't gonna happen it ain't gonna happen because this person has been divinely guided into your life okay long-term commitment marriage this is a divine connection. I would say with the Hierophant and the Lover's card, the two of you may have been married in past lives. Quite strongly, actually. And you were prosperous together. Thank you. Oh. Right, so with the uh, Knight of Swords, um, I would say that many of you, you may want to rush in and speak your truth. Like, you're not going to take any nonsense. And this is where this confidence is uh, coming in. You may react to this person because of a tower moment that you had in your life with regards to love. I would say be careful of that. Um, you do want to rush in. You want to speak your truth. You will speak your truth. You will be victorious. Um, but you... How can I put it? You might come across a little bit brash or a little bit um a little bit cutting. So be careful of that. Just stay true to who you are, Cancerians, which is compassionate, loving, and nurturing. Okay. I would say that you are thinking about <laughs> You are thinking about this person quite a lot, but I would also say that you're thinking about the tower moment that you've had in previous relationships, an unhealed um, wound when it comes to love. Um, and it's like, I feel like many of you, you, you're not letting it go. 
you're not letting it go you can't get this person out of your mind as things progress but at the same time you're also going on the side of caution you might be even a little bit pessimistic which is where this kind of energy that i'm picking up for you to remove any emotional clutter and blockages because you may genuinely block this connection I would say not intentionally, you're just on your guard, you're on your guard, all right? But you're going to be thinking about this person, you're not going to want to let them go, there's something about them that intrigues you, I would say. Remember, be flexible with your thinking, try not to um, respond to this person based on uh, a past experience which wasn't so kind to you. Ultimately, you're coming out victorious because guess what? You've met your wish fulfillment. You recognize that there's something special about this person. And it's possibly because you have lived many, many lives with this person. You see them as your wish fulfillment. But also, if you notice the two jugs here, be mindful that you may end up like just being a little bit breadcrummy. You may not show all your emotions at once um this person may come like full throttle with their emotions pour notice there's a big pool of water here i feel that this little bit of water here is yours because you're on the side of caution with this person pouring in a lot of emotion like i said this person is frustrated with that hangman in reverse they want to move things on quite rapidly you might react to that in a not so great way like whoa hold your horses yeah um just be mindful of that okay be mindful of that because the truth is is that this person is your wish fulfillment and you are their wish fulfillment as well you also could be dealing with an aquarius or you could have aquarius in your chart also we've got aquarius scorpio uh leo and taurus popping up here sorry i should have mentioned that i said gemini Taurus let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how does these soulmates of cancer sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love wow <laughs> you make me chuckle cancerians so with the seven of swords you're going to keep it kind of secret yeah you're gonna kind of keep it secret that you actually do see this person as your wish fulfillment like i said you're waiting for the bottom to drop out of it like this is this too good to be true yeah um remember the never-ending story the story that you've told yourself wasn't true about a tower moment about an unhealed wound it's time to declutter that unpick it and move forward with confidence with this connection but yeah you're going to keep secret um that this person is your wish fulfillment um and that you feel victorious that you've actually met somebody like this hence why it almost feels as if you're really nervous like shit man what like is this too good to be true remember your good deeds and who you are as a person cancerians you're genuinely quite nurturing compassionate and you put people in front before yourself this is i almost feel as if this is divine spirit universe rewarding you for your good deeds but you know what it's still going to blow you over it's still going to it's still going to knock you back for a bit that's why you've got to be flexible in your thinking man accept the blessing open up those arms and arms and just accept the blessings and walk in confidence and receive your breakthrough in every aspect of your life love work family health whatever advice oh, look at this can't make it up heal you have a natural gift for healing through your hands words or actions did i not say that this person you have renewed their uh, faith in love you have been instrumental to healing this person and you may not have even known it and this is why i feel that you're being guided be your authentic self 
be your compassionate self. Yes, you may think this is too good to be true and you're waiting for the bottom to fall out of it, but try not to react to this person based on past experiences because you may end up creating mm, just un like unnecessary misunderstandings, to be honest. But the key thing here is that you're a healer. You know, you may not have realized it, but you're a healer. And that's where your compassion comes in. And like I said, you're just a you're just a good human being. Those cancerians that I'm picking up, you're a good human being. And I feel that Divine Spirit Universe is rewarding you for your good deeds. Let's continue. But that healing card, um, yeah, you have that gift, and you certainly have um unbeknown to you, healed um and renewed uh faith. In, in in love for this person <laughs> oh exciting birth this is time of new beginnings embrace the new life with open arms what was i saying open up them arms and receive this blessing get ready for it get ready they're telling you be poised get ready Fling out your arms and welcome in this new beginning. There is a new beginning. This feels very much like a new romance. Um, something that is being birthed that is real special. Oh my goodness. And they're saying to you to trust. Trust your intuition in what you are feeling, sensing, seeing or experiencing. But also remember, differentiate between what your uh, how can I say it? your pride or your ego? You know, you know that sometimes you see those films with a angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other shoulder. Your ego and your pride uh, is that little devil that's going to really play havoc with you because it's like that little gremlin, gremlin that's coming in and like popping your your happiness, thinking, oh, it's gonna, it's all gonna go to tits up. It's all gonna, you know, sit in there thinking, oh my god, this is gonna be awful. You know, this is too good to be true. You're not gonna be confident. And then you've got your little angel saying, no, 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 no. Trust. Follow your intuition. Follow the compassion in your heart. Whatever have happened to you in the past, try and see beyond that. Be flexible in your thinking and try, Cancerians, to differentiate when that little gremlin is coming and poking you um, and, and poking and doubting you. Be aware of that unpick it, recognize it, put it back in its box and walk with confidence and trust this connection. Because I feel that this person is going to be very healing for you as well. Key thing here, there's a new beginning. Embrace it, all of it. You deserve it. I'm going to leave that there for you, Cancerians. If this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, my beautiful Cancerians, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.